Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Heath Spider Brandon. Welcome back to another episode of Out of Minecraft here on the HTM server. Welcome back. So today's a little bit of an interesting thing because uh, we have nobody on. It, there's nobody on. That's because I'm recording two hours. Wait. It's 13. Wait, we're on time? Wait, where's everybody? Where's everybody? Where is everybody? We're on time, but nobody's here? I guess every server's dead? Nah, I'm just, probably everybody over at, uh, or everybody's doing the adventure map right now. I think Lake still has a little bit to finish up, and a couple people, I know Jen's in the middle of doing it right now, and I know there was a couple other people that still had to do it. Which, by the way, really fast, I do want to say, uh, I apologize very sincerely yesterday. I'm a little triggered at a couple comments that, you know, it's my fault in a sense, but uh, yesterday I forgot to explain the episode because I there was a lot of talking that went down before the actual dungeon and because the episode was so long uh, I didn't feel like actually rendering it out and getting it set up myself so I just clipped it from Twitch to three hours and uploaded it the only problem though was and I got a couple tweets about this as well nobody some people didn't know what the hell and I don't know what the hell this shit some people didn't know what the hell oh okay hold on, hold on. I gotta fix this just give me a second okay there we go. Um, why does that keep happening? I don't understand. That thing's considered a game, by the way. My equalizer is considered a game. Uh, a couple of people yesterday didn't really know what the hell was going on. Uh, I guess they didn't decide to watch the entire thing through because I just started yesterday's episode, you know, the movie episode, uh, in a new texture pack, a new shader pack, a new map with no explanation of what was going on. Uh, we were playing an adventure the adventure, uh, the H4M adventure sort of thing, and I got a lot of people, not a lot of people, but I got a few people saying, wow, this is clickbait, this is an HTML, so this is just an adventure map. Do you really think I'm going to clickbait this series? It was perfectly H4M. It was, but it was my fault because I didn't explain it, and I think if I would have cleared that up at the beginning and said like, hey, this is an H4M episode, it's not just like a standard off thing, um, what's it called? Uh... You know, that it was an, a whole event, that things would have been a little bit better, but... Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, Brunera got an update. Either way, we have a little bit of some love over from, uh, one of the, uh, Dadmans. I believe that is Frost, if I'm not incorrect, possibly? I'm not sure which one is the Dadman on that, but we do have our gear back, which is very, very nice, so we can actually rock around from there. I am using the resource pack, and just for a little bit, I'm gonna keep it, just for a little bit, but we have all the, uh, love roses around here, which I think I'll go ahead and hang on to right now. I should be able to right-click this and not get the effects. Yeah, there we go, cool. And then I believe it was speed three, jump boost, and then, okay, yeah, we're good. So, at the moment, we've got the beautiful, beautiful, uh, gear, which is very, very nice. Now, the other hand of it, because if you guys remember, the server was on a separate server, so all the rewards we got off of there, I actually need to turn, uh, Minecraft sounds on, don't have any on right now. Uh, all the rewards were on a separate server, so I couldn't just do slash bond and log them on. But, today's gonna be very fun, because we have ourselves some fun times and some fun little goodies, uh, to go around from here. This should be kind of enjoyable. So, we have the pirate hat with Thorn Suit Protection 7. That's the biggest thing. The thing that I noticed from these, though, is that there's no unbreaking on them. <laughs> Which is really interesting. They're Protection 7, but they're like a glass cannon, pretty much. It's, you get hit once, and you're pretty much done. So, I'm not exactly sure if this is really all that good. I mean, it is Prod 7, then we also have the Sharp 7, um... Not bad to you, fire aspect two, and looting seven. Now looting seven's insane. The only thing though is again, it's knockback two on here. So that's another downside to it, which isn't fun. And then we got the knockback seven hoe. We have the uh silk touch one efficiency eight on breaking four pickaxe. That's pretty crazy in itself. But it's still silk touch. And you don't really I Good for building, I guess. Probably good for building. But if you have haste, what's the point, I guess? And then we have a skull, which is a sharp six, efficiency six. It's actually efficiency. Wow. Okay, so that's good for building then. On breaking two. On breaking two. And fire aspect one. Not two, but fire aspect one. So that's interesting. And then efficiency f or lucky fours, efficiency on breaking, knockback four. And looting three the entire way around. I know that I can put unbreaking three on all of them, which I could do at one point. 
We also got, in, uh, you know, according to everything, the knockback enchantment level 1,000. So that's the thing. We'll ever, we'll be able to, um... Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Oh, shit. Rudolph, stay away from the baddies. Don't let them come over to you. They will die. Please just despawn already and do not kill my horse. I did not mean to do that. That's my bad. I'm just going to wait and spectate Rudolph for a second because I don't want him dying right now. I don't think he's going to, but... How long does you guys last for? Is it another five seconds? Four, three, two, one, now. Damn, I was hoping that'd be right. You still good, bro? All right, good. I don't know where the other two. <laughs> they want him dead. If this was, if they were not out here. All right, they're good. They have to get hit 200 times. Obviously not. We're good. They do, they do despawn, but we're after a little while. Hey, Lake's on. Did you do adventure? They succeed in the adventure because I think he said they wanted to start it over from the day. So we're not going to hit those guys with anything else while I have guards on, so that's another thing. Uh, we have 74 diamond ore because I believe that's the total right there. So we're going to go ahead and get mining up on that with the try to finish and server crash. Well, can we get some has in chat? Uh, you guys aren't. You guys aren't like Twitch Twitch viewers, so you might not know what the ha ha is. Like the awkward, like, hey, 12, by the way. Um, damn, tried to finish the server crash. That's unfortunate. Uh, we also have the Wither Skeleton Skulls around here, as well as the Soul Sand, so we could get working on these if we wanted to. Uh, we have, how many is this? 77 Emerald Ore, which is a pretty damn good amount, I would say. We got a couple of people throwing out the has properly right now. Uh, we have 12. Plus 12, mystery dust, 1 to 30%. And then we have 5 100% magical angel dust that completely nullifies whatever this is. Uh, angel dust or magic fixing dust, so that could be anything right there. And then 5 minus 100 that I guess won't really have a... Br There's no reason to use these personally. We got Gears 5, which is insane. We got Ninja 5, which is crazy good. Anti-Gravity 4, also crazy good. And Glowing 100... I threw this out a while during the end of the episode, and I guess they gave it back to me. Because apparently I just got the loot from there. I didn't get, like, my inventory inventory. Uh, but we did get everything. We got 14 rare books as well and 14 legendary books. So in terms of, like, the rewards, I would say we're doing pretty damn good. So I'm going to go ahead and take the armor and just put it in here as long or as well with the weapons and everything uh, and all around here. Test the stick on lake. Is 15 legendary books not 14? You're right, actually. It was 15. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I didn't know. It was actually 15. I need one more legendary book. Hold on. Let me see if... Uh... Hold on a second. Florian, good, no, sir. Florian, will I respawn, at... Will I respawn yep. at the same place? Yep. Everything will be just so it has been. Okay. Florian, good, sir. Hi. I need Uno Mas legendary book. Whenever you have Uno. Time. Right now. Right now? Right now, I gotta restart my game. I bet. I'm kind of a little peeved at you, Florian. Not gonna lie. Oh, oh boy, what, what happened? Because I threw out the glowing 100 book during my fit of rage yesterday, and I was giving it back to me regardless. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm sorry about that. You can call our customer service if you want to. Is it online right now? It's a Monday. I guess you guys are finally back in office, huh? <laughs> yep. Also, must I say, the uh, the sound or the texture pack for not having a value on these ores is very interesting. They're not just completely blown up my ears, but I think I'm okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's all good. It's all good. I gotta go soap catch the uh, emerald ores over again because these don't have a value, apparently. Oh, they don't? Nah, they don't. That's okay, though. I'll just get a little silk touch okay. on them. They'll be fine. Alright. Well, let me get your legendary book. Give the glowing to Donnie. Yeah, I could, actually. I could. Wouldn't be That's a bad idea. That's a good idea. idea. 
in no mountain high enough. Can actually test out the, uh, what's it called? If it's C8 right now, see how good this is. Drop it a little bit down around here. Ooh. Hey, boss. Hey, yo. So is anybody else, uh, who's running the dungeon right now? I heard Quiff was running it. Quiff paused, so he didn't want to do it in one go. So he did an hour, and now he paused. He just oh, entered the he... village area. Oh, he's done right now? Yeah. Gotcha. Anyone else, or...? Um, Jen wanted to run it, but I never heard back from him. Classic Jen. Uh, Classic Jen. So... <laughs> I don't know. Um, Lake, by the looks of it, is jumping back in to finish his. Yeah, he came back on, said that it crashed, and... Yeah. That was the thing. Exactly. I think I should be getting all these emeralds right now. Super Breaker it? Ah, uh, no. Well, actually, wait. Super Breaker would work, possibly. But we're gonna get some ASMR going when we break all the diamonds up right now. So we got, like, 70-something. Was it 74 or 70-something? 60-something? We gotta get them out of diamonds so we can Super Break and have it look really good. Oh, whoop. Actually, a couple of these did wind up falling down. Okay. Grab those up. Either way, thank you very much, Flory, for your time. I won't take uh, up the rest because I know that we have some people running the dungeon that might need your assistance today. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Thank you. Have fun. All right, take care, man. Much love. All right, so uh, I think we've got all of our emerald door back. We got the two that fell, so we can actually go back over and sell these. The only thing is I got to go grab up the, uh, what's it called? Wherever my pick is. So I'm not exactly sure what I did with the, um... What is it? Uh, the really, really, really good god pick. I think, wasn't that over at the, uh, didn't I put it at the base jumping thing? I swear to god that I did. It was over, not over here, but the really good pick actually with telepathy, the ocean floor, so I mean, yeah, I agree. The uh, texture pack for the ocean floor isn't very beautiful. It looks okay, but I think it's supposed to be gravel, because that's gravel, right? That's it from around there. Uh, you left it in the arena test. You don't have Fosig? Yeah, fo we don't need Fosig right now. I'd rather keep on shaders if I wanted to use that at all today. Pickaxe, 77, I think. Hydra 3.2? No, no, no. It was the other one with the uh, F57 or whatever. Might just honestly go over and uh, really... I mean, I guess it's like... Yeah, 770. It's whatever. Um, we might go over... Because who has one right now? We don't need any, like... I don't know. If I don't... There's no... I could just go over and borrow... From the speedy and Sai have one? I think I know Vic has one. Vic has one, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got 12.5 million, by the way. Hey, let's go buy up the whole server right now. Yours in the arena chest. Is it really? Warp PvP 1. Is it really a good pick in the arena chest? Did I ever take it back out from there? It's not there. What about Warp PvP 2? Uh, Anything over here? Oh, that's some good stuff. But it's not, no, 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 it's not, uh, the arena chest. Might take the golden apple just to have it. <laughs> Mystery Dust from here. I think this is all from the, uh, yeah, from the arena. This was mine, I'm pretty sure, wasn't it, though? Or, like, a couple of things, I'm pretty sure. If you want to do a 400k, 1v1, uh, in arena RG gear, uh, looting up stuff from the events. Need a bit. Wasn't he doing the, oh, no, 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 he was, uh, he stopped his arena thing. Or he stopped doing the, uh, what's it called, the dungeon. Yeah, no, he stopped doing the dungeon for like an hour, and then it's gonna go back to I think tomorrow or something like that. Myers lost stream pick. Seven hundred seventy, really? Yeah, I guess it's twelve million in bank with it. It's like it's okay, you know. It's it's a little chunk, not even a tenth of it, but it's all right. I think um I think Vic has one that I can just borrow up right now. Although I think his prices to use it are absurdly high, which I'm gonna re revolt against and not pay. Because how much isn't it like stupidly insane? Yeah, miner's dream costs one diamond per diamond. I think I'm good personally. Isn't because isn't the uh, the fortune five? That's the highest that we have, right? The fortune five. Why do you keep sex back on? I just want. It. Should I take it off? Should I take it off? Right now? Yeah, it's Hellforge. Does it have Hellforge? Oh, yeah, it's got Hellforge 1 on it. I don't really think that'll do that much, but it might save, like, a little bit. Because I'm just going to do Slash Fix and, like, you know, go around from there. Should I take it off? Everybody's saying take it off the Alright, fine, fine, fine. We'll remove the Veil key. You guys had to deal with it. Up to you, boss. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what it's like. 
Pete, everyone will tell Vic. The horror. The horror. I can't imagine. Um, I mean, in a sense, if you think about it. Yes, this is saving me time, but I already have one. So it's kind of just like I'm just using mine, right? Because if I was to walk away from this and go do this over back at my house... Actually, hold on a second. I've got a theory for a moment, right? I've got a theory. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Let me go back over to spawn. Or let me... I'm already gone over... Best. Let me go back over to my place. Okay. I'm going to go back over here. Okay. This is going to be a long process, okay? You guys got to hold on to it for a couple minutes. It's all going to make sense. I swear to God. Okay. Let me go back over. I'm going to go over to my place real quick. Just real quick. Okay. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it... Perfect. Right there. Okay. We're going to log out. All right. Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Pizza Little Brain, and welcome back to another episode of How to Minecraft You on the HTM episode 95, I believe it is. I believe it's 95 from earlier. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drop on the server right now. Now, we did get our loot from yesterday, which is seriously sick. I already, off camera, uh, spent up the emerald from there, but we are going to go ahead and uh, I think I... Oh, there's my Myers Lost pick. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the Myers Lost pick that I have here and... Uh, I guess I left it in there. Yeah, I guess so. Take up the 70... 74? 74 diamond ore that we have. Uh, I'm just laughing because I'm remembering. Uh, we were talking earlier about Timothy uh, and how he had his whole entire process around from there. Uh, Timothy was a really great guy. He was kind of a jerk, I'll be honest. Uh, YouTube doesn't really even understand, but listen. There's just this guy that I knew back in elementary school. Uh, he was... He got upset when I gave him some melted chocolate, okay? Maybe he's watching us right now. Maybe he turned into my biggest fan. I don't know. Timothy, if... Ring me up on my cell phone right now. He still somehow have my number. It's the same number as every other day right now. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of ASMR. We'll do it pretty quickly, okay? Get some six uh, diamonds around here. We gotta make sure it's not fixed because I don't want my pick to break. Because I spent a long time getting this working. But let's just make it really beautiful. Make it really, really nice. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. Mmm, the music! Mm. Beautiful, really. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back over to, uh, spawn and drop off the diamonds. Uh, let me go ahead and go over here, drop that down around there. So let me take the diamonds. Really fast. So I'll go grab up all these right here. See what, how much should we get from that? What should we get from this? So we got... 555000. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now, that's 13 million, right? That's a pretty good amount, I'd say. Now, he now here's the deal, right? I was thinking off camera, and I'm like... This Miner's Lost pick that I have. It's beautiful. It doesn't even need to be fixed. Hell Forge is amazing right now. I personally, I'm not really going to have a use for this thing anymore. So I'm not going to go diamond mining. I think everybody's kind of done mining for diamonds. I would like to give the pick away. Because, I don't know. If I'm going to be using Silk Touch, I got my Emerald Ores. I can just Super Acre it from there. I'm going to choose a lucky person to give the pick over to right now. Thinking it might be a good idea. 555 five, five plus 11. It's not a bad combination. 13 million. It's a good amount, man. It's a good amount. So I'm trying to think here. <laughs> trying to think. So you need side, you know, they kind of screwed me over a couple times. The maddest, mad. Can't even afford to get their, uh, their side picked. <laughs> Who else around here? And see, Rob, Rob never did come back on. For that, that 1v1 duel for my axe. I don't really know about this guy. Who else is right? Lachlan quit the series. We don't need him. Modern stream costs one. Let's see. Maybe Vic? He doesn't even... Do you guys think Vic needs it? I want to make sure if I give it to anyone on the server right now, it's going to be for a good cause. Right? I think... He doesn't... I don't know who stole his or where his even is, but... There you go, man. Enjoy the gift. Uh, hold on one second here. I gotta, I mean, like with all, uh, gifts in this series. 
Where might your wood be? Tier 1 gear? No, you got that chest around from there. Let me go to craft. Or no, hold on. Let me go to kit. Sorry, guys. Taking a little bit of time right now. Just got to make sure my content's good. Let me go to craft. There we go. And uh, we'll take some oak wood up right now really fast here. Uh, and we'll make... Oh, no, no. I got to get too antsy right now. We'll make some sticks. There we go. No knockback sticks. We'll make a sign. Uh, there we go. And we'll drop a quick little sign down over here uh, saying, Figured you might... Uh, want this. I chose you out of everyone. Pete. Oh, pet. Did you say pet? Let's do pet right there. So there we go. Vic got himself a miner's lost pick. We got ourselves about a million dollars worth of profit. I would say it's a pretty good day. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I mean, listen, I just love giving gifts to people. It's something that I've done pretty much since the start of the series. Uh, it's, I think Jen's probably been the most uh, you know, gift giving person on the server, but you know what, man? Sometimes you just gotta think to yourself, other people deserve us more than I do, and you know, it's just sort of that deal. Was my acting good? Are we good, guys? I think they've already clicked off. I think they've already clicked off right now. So generous, yeah. So Jen, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful day, man. It really, really is. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and go back over. Just want to go over to our home because we are not done yet today. Okay, we can see our beautiful books around from here now. This is the gear that we're currently working on right now, okay? We have the Anti-Gravity 3 and the Gears 3. The only problem, though, is that this is on the Prot 5 armor, when I believe, if I'm correct, that I've got a Prot 6 set of armor um, somewhere around here. Now, I could put it... Here's the thing. Do we want to just do the Pirate set? This is something I'm actually, I'm actually wondering about. Be prepared for Vic's sword? Is he giving me a... Is he giving me a sword in return? Oh my, yo, let's go, man. What a nice guy. As if he's watching this right now and just told people what gift he's giving me back in return. Thank, Thank you, man. I mean, it's not, you don't have to. You can keep it. It's just a pickaxe. I think a sword's worth a little bit more. What a nice guy, man. Always invite me to play PUBG together. Shoot me of it. 8 o'clock in the morning, like, hey, man, we'll play some duos. And I'm just like, that's my boy right there, man. Oh, God, I'm getting teary. I'm just thinking about it right now. Check around. I think the Ladmans might have found your lost gear. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I'm wearing it right now, Karen. I'm wearing it right now. Um, but I need to find the, what's it called? Unless you're not talking about that or talking about something else. But I believe that the Prot 6 boots, I think, are right here. These are them? Yeah, fire boots. Okay. So what I'm thinking that we do... Just for the whole situation right now is um, I'm thinking that we hit up the uh, Gears 5 and the Anti-Gravity 4 on... I mean, I don't know. We do have Prot 7 right here. Here's the thing, right? Like, I think we got to put it on the Pirate Boots because Unbreaking 3 versus Unbreaking 5 doesn't really mean shit for, you know, like the the mine or for pvp fights right because as long if you get hellforged we need hellforged that's the biggest deal combine them the thorns is the thorns the biggest problem though these things are all gonna die in a millisecond but i feel like we should make a separate set i think we're gonna rock the uh the pirate boots on him personally hellforged yeah we'll be we'll be rocking up hellforged a little bit from there uh so let me go ahead and i guess just use I guess we're just gonna do it in that case. So first thing, magical angel dust. I don't know if we want to spend it really on here because it is like a 51% success rate. But uh, I mean, we could. Here's what I'm gonna do. Like a beautiful neighbor, Pizza Hut is there with a reliable temporary chest. Let me go and remove every bit of uh, things in my inventory that I don't need right now. We need the Ninja Five. Uh, we need the Gears Five. We need the Glowing 100, obviously, and we need the Anti Gravity. We need the boots as well. And we need these books that we're going to be working up at the same time. We got our fixing desk as well over here. Uh, a little bit less thick than I would really like to. Fire boots we don't need. Uh, but the mystery desk over here, I would like to go ahead and fire all these through right now. See if we can maybe use these before I... Did I say anal dust? Ugh. Huh. God, don't want to think about... Angel. Angel. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Four percent, five percent, uh, only four du- Only four dust failed. 
Of 24, only four of them failed? Yo, guys, we just got insanely lucky. Minus 26%. Minus 16, minus 24. We got a plus 30. Only one. Plus 20, plus 13, plus 4, plus 16. Two plus 25s and a plus 17. Holy hell. You want to talk about good luck? That's good luck. All right. Um, Ding. And where's the uh, Gears 5? Yeah, so Gears 5. We'll pop that on there. But 90% on that one. We got 10% anywhere, or is it way too... We got 20 per, Jeez, we got way too good of dust. But we got to make sure it works up. Oh, look at this. Perfect. Then 80%, and then we got our 20. 100% beautiful. And then what does this need? It needs a 10%. But I can't afford that, because all mine are too good. I can't afford a 10%. I'd be wasting. I can't believe it. We got a Ninja 5, 82%. 7... Do I do it just to piss people off? Wait. Oh! Oh, God! 13 for 95, and then 5 for 100. Oh! Love it. Absolutely love it right now. That's nice. Then we gotta get... What do we do about the Gears 5? Do we have a... Do we have a 10% anywhere? Do we have a 10% by chance in here? Some 10%? We got a 9%? We got a 1%, and we can get a 9%. That's what I'm talking about right there, guys. 1%. And the perfect nine. And then we, what do we gotta get? 23? We gotta get 23. Do I got a seven in here by chance? I got a five. Hold on, what do we got here? We got plus 17. What will the plus 17 give to here? Plus 17. Do we got a 10? Do I see a 10? You know what? Let's make it interesting, right? We got a five. We got a three. And we got two ones. And then we have the 17 around from there. Oh, beautiful. You have a 20. I have a 23? I have a 23? You're right. I got a 23. But that would be... Oh, you need 23? Wait. For the glowing 100? You have a 23? No, I I meant I, had, I needed a 27. I meant I needed a 27, guys. But I guess we can do that, too. So if I go ahead and drop a quick little... Uh, where is it? That's a little 23% over on the glowing 100. We got a 96% chance. And then just right here, let's just make it interesting. You know what I mean? Drop a 3 on there, and then drop a beautiful 1. That right there is how you get 100% books on all the loot that you got in the most perfect fashion. Beautiful. Don't waste it on glowing. Waste? What are you talking about? Wouldn't waste it up at all. So we're going to go ahead and pop these all in here for right now. A um, little bit more. I should say not enough room. Really not enough room. Oh, we got a fail dust over there. Uh, uh, I'm going to actually just get rid of these. I don't think it's necessary with, like, the amount that we have right now. It's just a little bit too much, in all honesty. Let's go ahead and put away all the... Oh! This is, like, the perfect... This is, like, if anybody loves this shit. You know what I mean? Like, just the satisfying, like... What is it? R slash oddly satisfying? There it is. And we can go and take a fail dust and stack it up right around there. Perfect 27 around from there. Man, today's a great day. <laughs> today's a great day. Now, here's the thing. We already have the anti-gravity or whatever. We're going to go put this on the pirate boots, I think. So, anti-gravity 4. Beautiful. And gears 5 on here. There we go. So, we got that. And then I would guess that we would want to put the ninja 5 on the pirate coat. I guess we would want to put it on the, the pirate coat. Ninja 5, probably. I mean, I assume, right? Thorns, Prot 7, Respiration. Do we have Respiration and Aqua Affinity on a chest plate? Wait, we have Respiration and Aqua Affinity on... Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. Pirate, I... I didn't even... That didn't even click in my head. That there's no fall... Like, there's no... Um, what's it called? Death Strider. Why do we not have Death Strider? Why do we not have Death Strider? Pants or chest, put it on good chest. Glowing 100, legs. Some people are saying put it on legs. On the legs? People are saying more put it on the legs. By Hellforge, the speed nullifies what you put Ninja on. Let me take a look real fast. Oh, it does. Well, no, it just depends on the way that you, uh, that you put it on here. So, we have Gears 5 on right now. This is Gears 5 and Anti-Gravity 4. What's the difference? Hold on. So, this is with that, and this is... Who timed that? And then with here. 
I'd say it's a bit faster. How long is this gonna be? Two, three, four, a little bit less from there, and then one. It's like an inch faster. It's, you know, it's faster. It's not insanely fast like I thought it was gonna be like. It's a two tier upgrade, right? Gears 3 to Gears 5, I assumed it was going to be a lot faster in there, but I think it's okay. You can use a horse tester. You're not wrong. You're actually not wrong. Do we go test ourselves in the horse thing? Here I am. My name is Pizza Under Brennan, and I am going to be coming at you with uh, how to humiliate yourself in front of an audience. A beautiful audience of everyone right now. Why do they not have been breaking? I think it's meant so they're not to be like stupidly overpowered. You can kind of rock whatever you want to. Real crazy boy, nine nine nine. Thank you very much for the tier one. Blank, what's your name? Thank you for the prime for two months. Britannia, two thousand one. You're gonna have to let me know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. Uh, tier one for two months. Thank you so much for that. XX Hailstorm with a prime for four months. Melo Kimochi with a prime for two months. So happy to be your Nosuke Senpai. You have been noticed. Uh, Danny Elks? Daniel, tier one, three months, pizza dinners. Thank you so much. I love you. I'm so sorry. Uh, and I believe that's all for right now. Thank you guys. Much love. Much love. I always love having some new people and some people returning back. And I believe the horse tester is... Where is it? We're about to go make ourselves a human horse. It's somewhere around... Yeah, it's right back here. It's right back here. All right. Let me hop over all the villagers in beautiful style. I wish there was a way for us to be able to test our jump, like our, our vertical leap. So let me go ahead and see right here. Oh, this is about to be fun. Why did I not put- why would I not put on the Gears 5 while I'm running? I don't freaking know. Anyways, here we are. We are a 13. We're a 13- we're a 12.5. We're a 12.5 in these boots. You can't test your jump. It's true. Second time. Oh! A little bit of lag right there. We're only a 11.5. We gotta make sure that we don't get any lag. Third time's charm. Ooh. It's a 10.5. What is happening? And before I realize that Minecraft character's speed is inconsistent. 10 point. So we were at, at highest a 12.5. Interesting. Now with Gears 5. Okay, so I would think that it's just a little bit faster. Alright, so it's a little bit faster. That's confirmed. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, get started then, I guess. So this is where we learn uh, whether or not the... I was kind of like... I knew this is what I was going to be doing today for this episode. But I'm also kind of dreading it at the same time. 14 rare books and 15 legendaries. There will never be a time, I don't care how many dungeons you do in your lifetime, there will never be another day where you will get more opportunities for good enchants than right now. So I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. I'm trying to think how we do this. I think for just to start, we do three rares and then a, well actually no. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do two rares and then a, a legendary. Two rares and a legendary. Two rares and a legendary. And then we're going to keep going from there. What about uh, Adventure Map V2? Oh, yeah, no. Tomorrow we're going to be uh, speedrunning the uh, adventure. <laughs> Can you imagine? I actually, actually, you know what? Like, I was thinking about it. If people didn't care about repeated content, that would be hilarious to, like, what's it called? To, um, to speedrun the dungeon or the speedrun the adventure map now that we've already, like, we know exactly what to do. I do the temporary, I do everything, see how fast I could possibly do it. That'd be hilarious. I would love to do that. That's like maybe a bonus episode or something, but I know, like, people wouldn't really, you know, like it for a proper episode. But, um, anyways, first two rare books uh, of the day, and then the legendaries. Here we go. It's really not a bad start, honestly. Enlightened 2. Okay, Sniper 3. And Sandstorm 1. Alright. Not... So, Enlightened 2, probably the better of that combination. Not too bad. Not too bad. We got another batch here. First one. Boom. Okay. Not great. Acid Rain 2. Also not great. And... Viper 3. Alright, so not... Viper's okay. Viper actually helped us win the, uh, our duel with Lake yesterday, which was caught on stream from around there. 69%? Where was that? 
69% online, of course. Got some beautiful music. Donnie Bobs is on, apparently. Didn't even know. Another rare. Feed me. Two. Only feed me two. Hulk two. Eh, it's okay. And Ice Freeze for bows. All right. Our legendary enchants haven't been all that great. I did the whole thing 100%. You got to bless me up right now. Don't tell me Enlighten's not going to be the best thing that I get. Don't tell me. First rare. Rocket. Oh, God. Intimidate. Is that Intimidate 2? Intimidate 2. And... Cursed. Cursed 3. She has to give your aim and mind fatigue. I think it's time to do some Tinkerer, huh? Let's get into the Tinkerer really fast here before we get some. Lightning 2 is pretty good. Sniper. We don't really need or anything. That's going to be a good 1 to 5. Don't really need that. Sandstorm 1. Yeah, Sandstorm's okay. It's, it's the highest you can get. Boom 2. No. Acid Rain. Walks poison for a short time. I mean, I think it's kind of alright. I'm not sure. Viper is the one that we would want better, right? Feed Me 2. We're not going to be using Axis all that much, I'd say. Hulk 2. We've already got many, like multiple of these, but we'll keep it just to say. Ice Freeze. What is that? Chance to give Jeremy Slowness. Not that great. Rocket. Very terrible book. Uh, Intimidate 2. 3 blocks weakness for a short time. That's not too bad, honestly, I would say. And Curse 3. Chance to give Jeremy Mind Fatigue. We're not really going to be using Axis all that much. Uh, so we can go ahead. That's all 1 to 5s. Not very good books. <laughs> 2 failures. 3% and 2%. Alright. Not terrible. Not great. But let's go ahead and keep them keep move on a little bit right now. We got our the beautiful music going. There we go. All right, two more rares and a legendary. Here we go. Headless three. It's okay. It's okay. Blessed two. I'm not looking at the things. Blessed two? That's not too bad, actually. That's some pretty solid book. So far, we've gotten our best two books, I think, from... Uh, what's it called? Um, we got our, be our best two from rares, not legendaries right now. And... Piercing. God damn, what is with this right now? Holy crap. All right, maybe this little pattern that we got going on right now isn't very great. Next rare. Self-destruct 2. Oh, God. Self-destruct... Wait, no, it's Sniper. Never mind, I thought it was the... Uh, it didn't pop up on there because I didn't right-click it. Sniper 3 and then... Paralyze. I can't hit it right now. All right. Let's get another two. Go The last two rares. Maybe it's just the pattern that we're doing right now. The last two rares in a legendary. Jesus right now, man. All right. Anti-gravity, three. Nice. I like that one. Very good. Self-destruct, two. Again. And... Lifesteal, three. Ooh, not a bad book. All right, Lifesteal. That's the best legendary one that we've gotten so far, I would say, pretty much. So let me go and go into, uh, what's it called? Uh, Tinkerer, one more time. Really fast from around here. What do we want to get rid of? Uh, Headless 3, I guess we could keep. Self-Destruct, we can get rid of. Piercing 3, Self-Destruct, Sniper, uh, Paralyze. Is this one actually pretty good? Paraly no, I don't think so. High my Fatigue and Slowness. It's not not something we want to put on our sword, really. Anti-gravity three, we've already got two of these. And lifesteal three. What would lifesteal what would it give me for lifesteal three? A 25. Yeah, okay. And then anti-gravity three would give me a 15. We don't really need the anti-gravity three for anything, but I'll keep it anyway. Alright, so those are all good. And uh did that fail? No, I don't think it did. Though a lot of those failed. Alright, so two from those. And we have our last eight legendary books of the day. Let's just hit this right now and uh figure out exactly what we're doing. First legendary book. Your inventory is too full. Oh, I have to have one spare slot in my inventory. Let's go ahead and drop a 2% on Headless right now. Just to hey be man, a little bit I love you. quirky, I would this say. Many dollars worth. Here we go. Bless up. Valor 3. It would be real. That's damage resistance level 3. That would be really good uh, if I didn't already have it. Not too bad. Second legendary book. Nursery. Chance to heal you while walking. It's not a bad one also. Chance to heal you while walking? I've actually never... I mean, I knew that was a dungeon one, but... It's actually not too bad. Your luck is so low because you're near Nooch's slot machine. Shit, you're kind of right. Let's go over to the... Uh, let's go over to the uh, the horse training thing. This gives us a little bit better luck with uh, everything that went down from there. It's not too bad. 
Because we actually have never even had that before, so... Hmm, not great. Or not bad. Third one. Rage 3. Now this is a really, really, really good book. That's a really good book. It's just... It doesn't proc very often, but that's still pretty goddamn good. It's like the, the enchant that we love to hate, because... It's great, but at the same time, when are you really going to ever chain that many hits? But when you do, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right, next one. Sniper 3 again. Damn, okay. So we got four more legendary books to go through. And then that'll be all for the uh, the dungeon. So far, Rage 3. Um, what else do we have here? Lifesteal 3 has been a really good one. Enlightened 2 has been pretty decent. Yeah, because Enlightened 2, like, that's all, like, that's pretty nice. You know what I mean? You just rage at the book? Yeah, exactly. Rage useless in fights. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, next one. That's what I'm talking about! That's what I needed! Let's freaking go! Hell yeah! That's the best book without a doubt right there. Vampire 5... Chance to heal you while fighting. Better than lifesteal. Game over. That's sick, man. That's what we... Thank God I got at least one good enchant off this shit, man. Vampire 5. Hell yeah. Let's just... Let's freaking go. That's sick. That's... That's... That's awesome, man. Crazy good. We'll up the percentages. We'll get that shit added on immediately. Should we VIX payment? Get out of my chat. <laughs> Uh, next legendary book. Wither. Uh, Wither 3. It's also not too bad. We already have one on, uh, I think, our Godstorm, I'm pretty sure, right? Pretty sure. Uh, do we have Wither 3? Yeah, we already have Wither 3. It's not too bad, but eh, it's not too bad. Vic needs it so bad. He's been searching for it for so long. Maybe we do work up a trade. Lake will play a lot for that. Not going to sell it, though. Nooch's slots really were bad luck. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you really are right. Oh, my God. All right. Last two legendary books. I'm already too high to even care about these. Just kidding. God damn, Matt. Your luck is ass, bro. <laughs> I don't think I've had worse luck around Matt's slot machine in my entire life. Plus three. That's insane. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and the last one of the day. Race three. <laughs> Like, the legitimate fact that literally since I left Matt's casino, it's just been god tier after god tier after god tier. <laughs> oh, I can't deal with it. It's too good. I love you, Matt, so much. Oh, Matt, you're great, man. You're great. So we have two Rage 3s. We have two Rage 3s. We got a Nursery 3, which is sweet. We got a Bless 2, which is pretty all right. Uh, we got a Bluster, it's even better. We got a Headless 3, it's okay. We got an Enlightened 2, we got a Lifesteal 3. Uh, the Lifesteal 3 is not really worth much right now because, our, I think our sword already has Lifesteal 5 on it. Yeah, it's already got Lifesteal 5. Uh, double damage faster or whatever. Is he standing up? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're standing up right now. Auction of Vampire 5 bucks, see how much people would pay, then don't sell it. <laughs> Can you believe it? I feel like I should really sell off the Vampire 5, though. I have a feeling if I sold to Vic, he'd probably just want to trade me for his Vampire 4. And then, wow, he never... Did Matt never cover this? And I literally never knew when this was a case. Like, I'd never seen this at all. Had Matt never covered this casino, the slot machine, and I just never realized until now? I legitimately thought all this was underneath the ground. I never... I guess I never looked over this way. I didn't even see it until just now. Do not sell a Vampire 5 unless it's for 15 mil. There's really no reason for me to sell it, I'm gonna be honest, because it's just like, it's the god, it's the god tier, uh, enchant. Does anybody else have Vampire 5? You have the most money already? I mean, apart from, I mean, if Speedy and Psy want to dump their entire bank on me for <laughs> No, they wouldn't do that. Um, but overall, I think, Bless 3, uh, so what are the really good books that we got from there? Let's just tinker everything that we really do not need, because I, let's say it's end game right now. If it's something that's kind of like, eh, there's no need to, you know what I mean? So... Hulk 2, I have no need for it. Because I think Hulk 2 goes... Or it goes up to Hulk 3, right? 
No, it's only Hulk 2. I already have Hulk 2. We've already got that on the, um... What's it called? No, I've got Drunk 3. Strength damage is just lost when wearing it. Yeah, I don't need the... I don't need Hulk 2. Because I've already got Strength 3 on here, so it's useless. Damage is we already got that on Valor, so that's not needed. Uh, Valor 3, yeah, we can keep that. Not like we'll need or whatever. Why are you standing up? I'm standing up because... Whoo, flexibility is totally not a thing, but it's... It's, it's better for your health, man, than just be sitting down all day. So it's, it's just, like, good to, you know, when you're excited, just do some jumps in place or whatever. Like, it's better for exaggerating, too, because I can be like, whoa, and then you can run away and be like, hell yeah. You know, move around, and I'm being weird right now. Don't tinker it. All right, fine. We can sell it or something. Wither Vampire 5, Anti-Gravity 3, Valor 3, Sniper 3. Yeah, no, don't need sniper. Rage. Nursery we're actually gonna put on, it's pretty good. Bless two we'll keep just for the sake of it. Headless three. I mean so many people have it, it's like it's not really that great. Wouldn't really say too much. Uh intimidate gives enemies within three bucks weakness for a short time. I think intimidate only goes up to two, but I'm pretty sure I already have it, so I don't know if it's really needed, I'll be honest. Uh I just don't Should I keep it? I'll just put it on, I guess. Viper three, we can put on sword. Sandstorm 1, Blindness, yeah, I guess we could do that. Life Steel 3 and Enlightened 2. Okay, so all these books and then Bless 2 or whatever. All these books are, like, pretty decent, I would say. Like, they're not that bad. So, I would think that they're pretty good. Uh, Ninja 5, we need to go ahead and put on the... I want to put that on a chest plate, right? The Pirate Coat, yeah. So, this is what I'm really looking, at, looking forward to, right? Ninja 5 on here. There we go. All right. So, overall, um, it only gives 20 hearts? Really? One bless four costs how much? I don't know what that comment was. It only gives 20 hearts? I thought it was, um, what's it called? I thought it gave, like, 22 or something, but I guess that's the, um, what is it? I guess it's overload. I thought it would stack. Only 20. Okay, listen, when I say only, I mean in the sense that I have overload 4, and that gives me 20 hearts, because it's the extra 10. But I thought that with, like, Ninja 5, it would wind up being, like, more than that. You know what I mean? It's still good. It's still good. Um, yeah, overload 4, it's the, it's the same thing, but... I mean, it's, it's okay. It's pretty good. You be close to 1 plus 5? Well, I don't think that you can, uh, tinker them. I don't, I think, because plus three is the maximum or whatever. Um, but what I was told by someone is that apparently I can, uh, what's it called? Uh, blacksmith the boots together? Oh, so if I want to get rid of thorns? But that would, then I lose my protection. Why does it even allow me to do that? So it puts the anti-gravity 4 and the gears 5 on here. But I lose the... The prot 7, but I... Oh, so I guess it's like if I wanted to get unbreaking 5 on here. But in turn... if Okay, so it's like pros. I lose the uh, thorns 2 and I get unbreaking 5. Cons. I lose 2 levels of protection. Why would I do that? I would have just put the books on here and just rocked around with these because they virtually do the same thing, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and keep these on for the sake of them just being that little bit faster. Uh, sorry about the FOV, by the way. I know it's, like, pretty high considering, um, what's it called? We do have, uh, what is it? The, we don't have Fizek on. So, yeah, anyways, um, I see we get to work in on some of these enchants really quickly here. The Vampire 5 being the biggest one. Bless 3 also being really good. Rage 3 as well being pretty decent. What's our highest rage? 31% and 26%? It's not too bad, because here's the thing, right? We also have the Nursery. The Nursery is really good, right? 28%. Chance to heal you while walking. That's on armor. And then um, a little bit more enlightened. Chance to heal you while being attacked. Heal you while walking. That seems like a really good thing to have. But the problem, the thing that I'm kind of upset about, right, is that... Um, nursery 5, a chance to heal you while walking. It, it goes up to Nursery 5. It's, and we only got Nursery 3 off of what I believe was a legendary book. So, like, it's really 
difficult to get that. We got Lifesteal 3, I believe, off of uh, a Legendary Book as well. So, like, getting Lifesteal 5 or, like, Nursery 5. The fact that we got Vampire 5, I still can't get over that. But I'm wondering, like, do I put it on the sword right now? Or Nursery seems like it sucks, though. You have to walk to be healed. Or can you run, too? If you PvP, you don't walk around. No, I assume it'll be running. Like, walking just means, like, this is walking right now. I don't think it has to do with only running. So that'd be kind of uh, weird. Except in Breaking, it's not a thing on your Pirate Books. On our power boots, yeah, that's the only problem. It's just like the the dirt. So it was at this point right here, as you guys can see, what happened on Twitter. Uh, my blue screen or my computer decided to blue screen up, which is always really nice. It's actually a really good episode, but we were kind of wrapping up. What we were doing for the most part. We cashed the rewards. The only thing that I missed out on, unfortunately, was the duel between Quiff. So you know, it happens. It's okay. So what I'm probably gonna do is keep the Vampire Five uh, book f until tomorrow to see like when people join back on, because I assume there will be more people on tomorrow when people are running the dungeons. I'll see what whether or not I want to sell it or offer it to people to see what the offers are or use it myself because Vampire 5 that's it's one of the best books in the game and I'm definitely not going to be selling it for a cheap penny so we'll see you know uh how everything goes on there hope you guys did enjoy the episode of how to Minecraft uh, I did a go ahead and compensate Vic a little bit for the uh the pickaxe from earlier which was still pretty funny I rewatched the chat reaction it was really pretty good but uh hope you guys uh, hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll catch you back around tomorrow Cheers.